We have business, uh, we have a purpose coach and business strategist, Diana Kolek in the building to help us with this uh, conversation. Karibu sana. Thank you so um, much. I was just going to go with business strategies <laughs> close to one thing. But then you, what is the difference among the two? Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically uh, when we're talking about purpose coach, I always say there are so many business people out there and business coach to be specific. Yes. But for me, I am more focused on looking at how can you start a business that is in line with your purpose. And that's the reason why I call myself a purpose coach and also a business, business strategist. strategist. Yeah. That I do not feel like I am tired every day going mm -hmm. to do that thing. Yes. So you find out what it is that I love to do, mm -hmm. what it is that I will do without yes. being pushed yes. or feeling tired or giving yes. up. Yes. So it's not just like um, Stephen said, a job, it's work. Mm -hmm. that love to do. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so we're looking at online jobs mm -hmm. that require mm -hmm. little to no capital. Yes. And I'm sure you've had the thing. I'd like to start such and such a business, mm -hmm. but seen a pesa. Mm. And my investment in a in a it's high when it comes to yeah. um the initial investment that you have to put in. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're here telling us that there's a possibility for me to start yes. a business. Yes. Bila hela mingi. Ata bila hela kidogo. Ata bila hela kidogo, ata zero. <laughs> okay, now I'm all years. So let me just start by just going back a little bit. Yes. Uh, from the time COVID started, yeah. uh, there's a survey that was done by uh, MasterCard, and they said 75%, 79% of consumers are actually buying things online. 79%. So I can actually tell you, all businesses, Anything mm. you can think of mm. as a business yes. should be online at this point. Either it should be or must be online. Because yes. if you're not online, you'll be out of business. That is true. That's where the world is. Exactly. And I looked at uh, some statistics from the BRM and uh, BRS. Uh, so they were saying that around from 2020, 2021, over 101,000 businesses were registered around 50,000 companies were registered. So you can imagine, there are so many businesses that are still coming up and it's because most people, as you said, were laid off. Mm. Some of them probably, um, you know, Biashara too just went mm. down. Mm. Another statistics that I looked up was from the International Finance Corporation. Mm -hmm. And these guys were saying that um, around 69% of uh, companies or businesses that they surveyed, they said 40% of them, their revenues reduced by, I mean that 40%, 40%. Can you imagine? That is crazy. Yes. So right now, if you're not online as a business, then you're not. In the next few years, they normally say around 90% um, of businesses close within five years. Mm. It will that gap will even close down. It will it will be, it less, will be less. It will be even two two years, mm. and your business will just be gone if you're not online. D did you did you guys start a business? Did you start out uh, because COVID happened? Uh, mm -hmm. Did you do it? Was it in line with your purpose? Mm -hmm. Is it still working? Is it purely online? What was your experience last year and this year when mm -hmm. it comes to starting your online business? Mm -hmm. And how is it faring so far? Mm -hmm. Has it worked out? Is it failing? Do you need some help with that? Triple one, triple four, triple one. If you have any questions when it comes to online business, because now we're getting into the kinds of businesses mm -hmm. that you can start with little or no money at all. Mm -hmm. So what would be the first one? Okay, so first of all, I just want to now go back to the purpose. Okay. So first of all, I would like you to just look at yourself and see what are some of the skills that you have yes. in yourself. What are some of the skills that you've learned? You maybe you went to school, you did some a certain course or something like that. And then also look at what, what is your passion? What are you really passionate about? And also look at uh, what are th these things that really come very easy for you. Like uh, maybe when you're kids, I don't know if you used to do that. Right. Like you will go and like plate grass or something yes. like that. Yes. You'll find that that person is really passionate about making hair and mm. all that. Mm. So look at those things. And I would like us to look at, um, I, I don't know if you're a fan of uh, graphs. <laughs> so mm. let's look at. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my face? I know, right? <laughs> On the y-axis, yes. so let's look at uh, your skill set, your passion, 
uh, the things that interest you, things that you like doing. Mm -hmm. That's on the y, on the, the on the, the y, y axis. The y is the one that goes yes. The horizontal. The, yes. yes. And then on this side, the, the x, x axis. Mm -hmm. Look at what um, can you be paid for. Okay. So where those things meet like like this, yes. that is where I would say your passion, your purpose is. Uh, my skill set. Uh -huh. Things I'm passionate about. Yes. And then on the x-axis, what, what I can actually be, be paid, paid for. Okay. And it can actually be what you, you, you can be paid for or what actually brings a lot of impact in people. Because it could be that you are supposed to actually start an NGO yeah. or, uh, you know, a community-based organization, which mm -hmm. can still pay you, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you're bringing impact into the community. Okay. So I'd like to ask guys to just start from there first okay. before you even start thinking about oh let me do this business because unfortunately most people sometimes they look at oh my neighbor started a kiosk somewhere or they started um, um, a chemist or they started maybe a uh, salon, a salon mm. and they're saying oh they have so many customers mm -hmm. let me also start one like that exactly about yes it. probably don't know anything about kinky hair yes <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you business is not as easy as people think it can only be as easy when you actually do something that is in line with what you love to do because when the tough uh, the tough the tough times come yes you need to really have a lot of resilience you mm -hmm. need to actually hang in there because you 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 need to have that um consistency to just keep going even when the tough times come oh. so it's not as easy as people think no, it's, not. it's not as easy yeah. so just to go into now the details of uh, you know what type of businesses you can start yeah. I would like to look at people in different let me just cluster them okay. so let's imagine someone who is a business executive or uh, maybe a um, a director or a, a, a former CEO of a certain company and they were laid off because maybe they were downsizing and whatever happened. Um, there are so many things that that particular person can do because at that level, it mm -hmm. means that you are an expert in something. Yes. So you can imagine, number one, you can actually decide to become a coach. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're very good in IT and the kind of IT stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can decide, let me start a coaching business, uh, maybe coaching young executives who are coming up in the area of IT, okay. or if you're good in whatever kind of field you're in, you can decide to become a coach on okay. that. Okay. You can also decide to just improve your skills by going to a coaching uh, school and uh, just for credibility and all that. Yes. But because you've already reached that level, you can actually go out there and do it. Number two, you can decide to maybe come up with your own online classes mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, do trainings, online trainings. Those ones I can tell you for a fact, you can go out there and you can get a lot of information about how to create your own online courses. Okay. Uh, considering the kind of expertise that you have built so far, mm -hmm. you can decide to go into career coaching you're because you're already... Knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. So that is number one. Okay. Number two, if, for example, you are laid off, maybe you are a manager, um, just a mid-level manager, mm -hmm. there are quite a number of things you can decide to go into because by that time, probably you're laid off and you got some money out of, the, uh, out of what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot that you can do with that small capital. Mm -hmm. And as I said, all businesses, mm -hmm. if you're not online right now, yes. please call me. <laughs> Call me it's because like Diana, I need help. I know yeah. you have to. So there's a lot that you can do in that area. Um, I see so many people like looking at uh, probably the, the the type of things that they've always loved to do, and uh, they've never gotten an opportunity because maybe they were employed. Mm. But now that you have an opportunity, because uh, maybe you're laid off or the business closed, uh, and you have some little capital you can actually decide to just go out there and do some research online. There's a lot of inf information. I'm sure you've seen the DIYs that people do oh, online. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are so many some and there are so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So you can actually decide to do something. Um, there's a friend of mine actually, she resigned because she just wanted to resign. Mm -hmm. And she was like, um, you know, I want to go there and do something. And uh, 
we all the time we kept on telling her you're very good with interior decor and with interior decor when you do your costing you're doing your costing including the cost of buying the material right yes. so your customer is paying you like um probably 50 percent mm -hmm. yeah you've already designed everything and you're telling your customer okay this is this is what i want to do for you and maybe as i said it really works mm. if you can simulate everything in uh, a certain mm. app and yeah. you can show the client what to expect they'll actually pay you and that means you didn't even need any capital yep. so you just get the money that the customer has given you and you go and buy the material, you do your job, you pay the Could full you amount. You have your money to start with. Exactly. Oh, wow. So there's a lot, there's a lot that you can do out there. Mm. And um, I can also consider like, um, you know, going into the service industry. Like now the interior decor is service. You can decide if you're really passionate about cooking. Yes. You can decide why not um, maybe you might need a little capital to just you know start with the little things that you need uh, the serving dishes and all that but you can decide that uh, you want to start maybe with the small parties in in people's houses and deliveries, at the office. and deliveries in the mm -hmm. offices mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so there's a lot there's a lot that you can do in in that area you can decide to even start a cleaning business mm -hmm. Uh, if, for example, you get maybe someone gets an opportunity to get a, uh, an opportunity to maybe clean this office, yes. um, they might not need a lot because first of all, uh, what you just need is a contract. When you get the contract and for this kind of uh, jobs, you can actually go to the bank and get some small loans. Mm -hmm. Although right now, um, mm -hmm. banks are not really They're giving, not really giving, out giving money. money. <laughs> yes. If you have a circle, you can get some little money to j for, st for just setting up. But eventually, you the basic thing that you need to do is just the cleaning. And the company will actually pay you for for that service and they can even give you like uh for example they'll decide to give you a certain um initial payment before you even start yeah. so um if you go into the service industry mm. there's a lot that you can you do know, without even paying brilliant idea yeah. um mm -hmm. that ties in with the cleaning mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. a friend of mine mm -hmm. who was really frustrated with the uh mm -hmm. the day bags who mm -hmm. come in and clean mm -hmm. your space mm -hmm. so she decided to yeah. peak so picked three mm -hmm. trained them uh -huh. in her house in terms of i'll clean like this fold mm -hmm. like this so what she did is mm -hmm. she became uh the boss of this three yes. so you lend out to the friends um you pay you pay you pay and when you start that with probably mm -hmm. it's not a lot of money mm -hmm. but then again with that amount of money you're mm -hmm. able to even get into now proper cleaning corporate mm. kind of you know service yes mm. now initially you didn't use anything yeah that's true that's just really true them yeah in your house maybe moja mm iwiki -hmm. next week mwingine evil and then you know and then you yes and let me just tell you something. There's something that I always uh, tell some of my clients. Mm. I tell them that the most important thing for you as an entrepreneur is to be resourceful. Yes. Because if you're resourceful and you look at all the giftings, you remember the three things we talked about, yes. uh, you know, what you're passionate about, uh, your skill set. If you look at all those things, you will find something that you can actually do out there and m it might not really require to have any capital. That is true. Yeah. So you, you just need to be resourceful. You just need to think, okay, so I need to do this. Mm. What do I need? Mm. What is the urgent thing that I need now? And you might find uh, most people, the, and the reason why most businesses do, uh, fail is because you decide, okay, so I want to start this business. Let me first of all get some furniture. Let me get an office space. And that's not so important. Because you're actually spending money to buy all those things and you don't you've not even tested your your idea you've not yes. tested your business first and it's really really important for people to do that first mm. test your idea ensure that you have clients first then now you can start thinking of having an office space you know buying nice furniture and all mm. those other things <laughs> <laughs> There are actually then, people, you can imagine, um, you know, someone who has been retrenched. Yes. Maybe they, they got like a million and something like mm. that. And they decide, okay, I want to start this business. And you might even find that it's a service business. Like, for example, 
uh, another good example is uh, people who have certain skill sets, like uh, or maybe it's a professional kind of uh, job they were doing, like an accountant. Uh, uh, um, uh, you know any kind of uh, service uh, i mean a uh, uh, professional that Maybe profession that you can be a nurse um you know anything that you can think about okay. if you're a professional and this is a service that most organizations um, actually you know require out there and even the small businesses most people don't know how to do accounting mm. so you can actually you know sell yourself as an accountant mm. and you will get you remember the number of businesses I said I've registered? Mm. Over 100,000. Yes. All these people need your services. They do. They do. There's another very interesting uh, uh, opportunity of becoming an online business manager, OBM. In fact, uh, th there are quite a number of young people that I'm training through that because uh, I see a lot of opportunities in that. There are people who are starting businesses and they do not know um, how to actually get into the online space they don't know how to get into the social media space and to market their products online and you remember we said 79 percent of consumers yeah. are online yeah. so those are the kind of uh, jobs that people need to start thinking about if maybe you're in insurance or you're doing sales mm -hmm. you can actually think of becoming an obm of yeah. many different, uh, yeah, you, you know, small businesses. Yes, and you're working, from home, and you're working from home. Can you imagine? You know, most of some we have, we have, um, we have so many gifts, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes because we acquired them because we were working. Mm -hmm. Imagine getting into consultancy mm -hmm. because yes, your company shut yes, down. Yes, but then now I can consult for any other company exactly. in the world, exactly. not just locally. Mm. It's in you. You're not. Yes. You already put in the work a while back. Yes, but yes. But now it's. You don't need capital for you to be able to do that. Yeah. The other thing is uh, social media yes. uh, marketing. Uh -huh. That is a service that almost everyone requires. Yes. Even the corporates, mm -hmm. they need that. But now for the corporates, they can actually employ you to go and do that full time. But you can imagine the number of SMEs uh, and um, uh, mid-sized companies that actually need that service. As mm -hmm. we said, there are many, I mean, almost all companies are actually going online. So this is also another thing, especially for the young people. They are always online, like on social media, doing TikToks and all that. Why not now start thinking about the fact that, okay, I don't have a job. I'm staying at my parents' place. Mm -hmm. Why can't I now start, you know, developing my skills when it comes to just uh, social media marketing? And there are so many online courses, some for free, some you just pay maybe 5,000 shillings. I'm sure your parents will be willing to mm -hmm. pay for you mm -hmm. to just go and train yourself. And then now you can start marketing yourself as, an, as a social media uh, marketer. 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 And, and that is another like opportunity, Cynthia yeah. All out there mm. in social media is the place to go. Yes. Maureen and Asema, mm -hmm. hi, we Kali. Um, I, have, I just have a Form 4 certificate. Mm -hmm. What can I start with that I'm earning a small income? Mm -hmm. um, I have many ideas, but I don't know how to start. Please help me. Thank you. And I hope you were paying attention <laughs> to this conversation because we were mm -hmm. spewing ideas. Yeah. Some people look down on some businesses mm. that are done out of the country. You mm. see. Uh, one is a student mm -hmm. in the States, but is dog walking yes. at another time during yes. the day. That does not need yes. any kind of income for you to do yes. that. So there are people probably you've mm -hmm. seen in your estates, mm -hmm. uh, or people who need this kind of help that you can actually reach out yes. to them. Just yes. look around, mm -hmm. do your research. Mm -hmm. And if you're really, 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 really passionate about something, yes. then you definitely go for it. Yeah. Diana, final words before I let you go and how people yeah. can get in touch, yeah. in touch with you okay. uh, for okay. more help when it comes to this. All right. Okay. So my final word, as I said, is to be resourceful. Yes. That's the number one thing as an entrepreneur. That's a skill that you just need to learn. Mm. And then also be, uh, um, just open your eyes to see possibilities and to see opportunities out there because opportunities are everywhere. Mm. And I always tell people, you can create your own opportunities. You don't have to wait to see an advert mm -hmm. somewhere. You can actually see something going wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've gone to a certain organization and uh, maybe it's a hotel or whichever place. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at it, you're like, okay, so I think uh, 
maybe these guys are not good in doing A, B, C, D, and that is my specialty. Mm -hmm. You can actually reach out to the managers. I always tell people, walk in and just ask. You yeah. never know. You never know. Just ask. And I know I won't kill you. Yes. How can people yes. get in touch with you? So people can get in touch with me. You can call me on my number. My number is 0721-332-897. Mm -hmm. That's uh, 0721-332-897. Mm -hmm. So you can reach me there. You can also call me. Uh, you can also reach me through my social media pages. That's Diana Kolek. You can find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, LinkedIn. All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Diana, for coming to Thank you so Highly much. Highly appreciated. Awesome. So if you are aspiring to acquire knowledge and skills, away from what we're talking about and you really want to go to school and you're looking for skills that are relevant to the job market and entrepreneurship, well, I'm here to tell you that uh, Cape's Technical College is one of the largest neck examination centers in Kenya and it's also a premier tertiary institution that has been established and mandated by the government to operate by TVET Authority and KIPS is a lead when it comes to offering high quality technical and professional training and also brings out the very best in their students because of their ultra modern learning facilities highly qualified and experienced lecturers their attachment liaison office and counseling office all of this make kips your preferred choice they also have a help loan that is currently available it's limited yes but the intakes are ongoing right now if you're looking for full-time evening or online classes for more information all you should do is just call the number 0708184040 i'm going to read that again 0708184040 because kips technical college is your sure path to success thank you so much for tuning in for choosing us today we don't take it for granted i wish you a beautiful day and a blessed week see you tomorrow same time same place adios